What's up, strongest men, women, and children from blocks all around the world? Thank you for joining me again on my Block Strongest Man today. Before we get into today's topic, two really super quick reminders. One is TubeBuddy. So TubeBuddy, in my opinion, is the greatest Chrome plugin for your YouTube channel to increase your productivity and efficiency in building your channel quickly, much more quickly than you would without it. It has a lot of great features like a keyword explorer, bulk editing tools, advanced analytics, and the ability to create more custom thumbnails. Their free version is great and they have an upgraded pro version which is still super cheap it was nine dollars a month last time i checked so check the link in my description below and download tubebuddy today my second quick reminder is about spreadshirt.com so if you like my design with the every man strong man of the block carrying the recliner and you were wondering if you could have that on a t-shirt mug or other accessories it's available, so check out my link to Spreadshirt in the description below for that as well, and I greatly appreciate the support there as well. So on to today's topic. Enjoy. What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to My Block Strongest Man, where we discuss using objects from all around your home and your property to get in that workout. Remember, everyone, burning some calories is better than burning no calories. Small goals matter, everyone. Small goals do, in fact, matter. And so today what I wanted to discuss was juggling of all things. So I wanted to kind of pick up a new hobby, try to do something different, and I came across this YouTube channel from Taylor Tries, and I want to just right off the bat say everybody who has any interest in learning how to juggle, check this out. Her tutorials are amazing. Um, one caveat, kind of a fun little caveat, not really a warning, but you'll get sucked into the whole ecosystem of friends and... Um, I guess they're, they're uh, sponsors and business partners and so forth, but like all of the friends, so there's Taylor Tries and Josh Horton, Cassie Horton, Jenna Bandy and uh, Caleb Nash Feimster, like they all do this trick shot basketball videos, which I totally eat up and I love. And um, so just a little kind of caveat, like you're going to wind up in a whole bunch of awesome content from a lot of different channels that's really going to keep you busy and entertained for a long time. So to kind of jump into it so let me just hit play on her channel and i will i'll mute it so we can look so the first thing she goes into is what type of balls should you be juggling with and apparently as i expected there is a specific type of juggling ball in um, size weight um, texture and so forth a beanbag style ball is what she's talking about she talks about not trying to juggle tennis balls because they bounce all over the place and they're too light and you won't be able to learn correctly. And so there are juggling balls that you can buy. And she does have a description, a link in her description that you should definitely check out. I have gotten so much great information out of this channel, Taylor Tries, that I really want to try to support her. Um, you should definitely go check out this video. And that's the reason why I'm showing my desktop so you can see the video, you can see the link, and you can get over there, easily support her, go to her link to buy the juggling balls as she provided. And so, I mean, look at this this great technique. So she's showing you exactly where you need to throw it. And basically, she's talking about picking two spots directly over your shoulders up in the air. And they're, they seem more or less at about the height where the top of her reach is, like the top of her uh, fingers can reach. And so you want to keep aiming for those particular spots. The left hand will throw to the spot you've imagined over your right shoulder and vice versa for the other hand. So she talks about starting off with one ball and trying to get it to go to those two spots and kind of getting used to that before you try two balls and sort of like getting that standardized, right? So she's showing it again. She's hitting those two spots almost perfectly every time, right? And then if you move a little more through the video, she'll show you how to do it with two balls and she shows you what not to do as well. So she's showing you how to pace it correctly so that you can catch the ball and kind of scoop inward and throw it up. And now she's showing you another common mistake where people are throwing it out too far forward. So she shows all about the focus of hitting those two imaginary points so that doesn't happen to you. And so, um, and again, here's the pacing, right? So she's showing what happens if you throw the balls too early. You want to throw the second ball when the first one's already on the way down. And so basically she's holding her, her hands palm up pretty much in the same position every time and trying to make the balls always land there and uh, keep focus on them. So those are some points that I'm extracting from this that I want to try for myself. 
And as you go through, she'll show you now with three balls how that same technique works. And she talks about making sure that you alternate the hand. So it's no matter how many balls you have, it's always left, right, left, right, left, right, and so forth. So she'll show you here, right? So now she throws the first two and then she'll move over. So we'll skip ahead a bit. And here she shows how you stay within um, the the forward backward plane and here she's showing so left right left right left right and she teaches how to kind of build up just throw the three balls then go for um you know a fourth throw a fifth throw not a fifth ball but a fifth throw of the of the three balls and so forth until you build up to a point where you can keep going so here she goes a few more reps and so forth and she talks about dropping it as being part of the journey so you shouldn't get discouraged because eventually you'll get the practice in and and get there so I feel like I learned a lot of great stuff from watching these videos, and I mean, she gives you all the techniques, troubleshooting of common um, mistakes and things like that. And so, of course, you know, as my block's strongest man, I got to throw in a little twist on this whole thing. So, I'm not going to juggle using traditionally traditional um, juggling balls. So, why don't we do this? Let's do a quick uh, Google search of juggling ball weight. And my keyboard's a little bit jacked up right now, so I'm missing some keys. And here, let's do this. Let me grab a, let's see. How about, let's try, how much do juggling balls weigh? And so what I wanted to do instead was rather than juggle juggling balls, which at a standard weight weigh 120 grams each, of course, I am my block strongest man, so we got to up the ante, and I want to juggle bocce balls. And bocce balls, uh, you know, an Italian form of lawn bowling type game, instead of 120 grams each are 920 grams each. So what we're going to do is take a step outside, set up the camera, and see what I can do with bocce balls. And I, I fully expect that I'll be able to do one, two, and not three, and we'll have to practice for a while and come back and do a sequel to this when I do master three. But I will give it a try. And I practiced a little bit already, and I'll just tell you, like, it's a great forearm workout, let me tell you. You really feel when you're trying to juggle something of that weight. You can really appreciate guys like Josh Horton that juggle, like, axes and stuff that, that weigh even more. So... Let's give this a pause and we'll go take a walk outside, set everything up and see how I do. So here we are outside and we're going to give it a try. Let's pick up the first ball. And actually, so these are all three. Three bocce balls. Two red, one green. And the aim is to eventually be able to juggle all of these. So we'll throw two of them down and start off with one. And so what I want to try to do is master one, the throw and the catch. So again, it's going to be throw it up to about as high as I can reach, let it arch, come back down to slightly wider than shoulder grip, catch it, throw it up over the other shoulder so it apexes over the opposite shoulder, and let it arch down so I catch it here. So that's the, the object. And we'll do 10 reps just to get used to one ball and see how that feels. All right, so I had a few good ones and a few bad ones. Why don't we uh, do 10 more and see if we can make it better? All 
right, so I noticed I did reach up for a couple of them, but we're going to go with two anyway and see if we can improve at all when we're doing with two. We'll move on. So here's the green ball, so we can uh, kind of keep track of them both. And same principle, so here we go. Well, that didn't go well, but Taylor Tries says to keep trying, so we're going to keep trying. All right, so one little clue for all of you, if you're ever going to juggle budget balls, is don't try to catch it against your body like a football. It's not full of air, and it hurts on your ribs and your hips. So I'm going to try to stop doing that right now. All right, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm still doing the the drill of kind of throw and catch and pause, so we don't have the fluid motion yet. So let me try a little bit more of a fluid motion before we move on to try three balls. All right, so I can't get the fluid motion. I think what I need to try to do is just verbally say right, left, right, left, right, left, and see if I can at least see if I'm doing the right hands, and then maybe it's a timing thing. Right, left. 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 So I think it's a timing thing because by the time it's time for that hand to throw again, I feel like I've been holding it there for a while and pausing. And maybe that's the way it works and maybe that's why people can juggle three, four, five balls because there is a lot of pausing time in between. I don't know. Let's put, let me try one more time. Right, left. Right, left. Right. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So I don't know, maybe that's it. Maybe uh, what I did right there is as close as you can get. I'm going to try three. I don't think I can even catch it once, but we'll try. So especially these balls are big. So I think it's not just the weight, but it's the diameter. It's going to be hard to hold them both. So let's let's see. So, right, oh, Jesus. Right, left, right, left. Okay, so three is going to be impossible at this weight, I think. But hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you learned a lot more from the Taylor Tries video before I came outside and tried this. But hopefully you saw that in a matter of a few minutes, somebody who's never juggled before can actually use these techniques from her video to at least get started and get going and be positive about trying this next time. So I'm just going to put these balls down, 
come back another time and of course if you haven't yet subscribe to my channel like this video hit the bell button for all notifications and of course until next time ciao homie